because guess what finally came in the mail I have been waiting for almost a whole month to try out ah, I can't freaking believe it I finally got it this is my very first time trying Jeffree Star makeup and I decided to try it when he did the collaboration with Shane Dawson this is my conspiracy palette I am praying that it's in perfect condition because I heard some people were getting them broken. Mind you, that was at Beauty Bay, I think, not Jeffree Stars. It has taken so long to get here, so it's passed through so many hands. I was tracking it for the longest time and it was just taking forever. If you are new to my channel and you're finding me because of this video, I'd love it if you'd subscribe and join my Empire family, become one of my Empires. And yeah, let's just get into this. I'm gonna dig into this on camera. I have been waiting all day to film so that I could do this on camera. It has nearly killed me to not look into this palette. Oh, I'm wrecking the star tape. Sorry, I just need to get into this. I had never ordered makeup online before. So this was a first for many things. First for Jeffree Star makeup, first for ordering online. And yeah. I didn't expect it to be that long of a wait, but I mean, they have millions and millions of fans, so I guess it should have been expected. Oh, Ugh. hair's hanging off of me. <laughs> Ugh, it's still stuck on the tape. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, we got stuff. Here we go. All right, let's dig into this. One singular thing. Oh, I got a card. This is so awesome. I'm definitely gonna put this up. Look at the makeup and how beautiful they look. This is stunning. I know everybody's probably seen looks by now with this palette, but for me, this is brand new. I am so friggin' excited. I am definitely gonna swatch just so I can feel them for myself. So you can skip ahead if you want to. I know I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh my God, this is so cute. I wish this was in a huge poster and I would put this up in my room. All right, here it is. It even says conspiracy right on it. Oh, maybe I could do something with this beautiful tissue paper if I could rip it off very gently. Somebody I saw on Twitter, their mom made them a little makeup shelf with the paper from Jeffree Star's merchandise. That was so awesome and beautiful. I love that he has this so well wrapped. I have a good feeling that it's going to be in mint condition. Look at this. This is so exciting. I don't have a lot of makeup. I don't have a lot of palettes. So this is going to be such an amazing high-end addition to my collection. Oh my freaking God. Look at this, ladies. Oh, he's so beautiful. She's so beautiful. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. I want to tip it all upside down, but that's the only way I'm going to get it out. All right. All right. Fingers crossed that this is in good condition. Please let it be in good condition. Oh. oh it's perfect. Look at it. It's perfect. Oh, Going to blind people. What a big mirror, too. Beautiful. This is so stunning. And just the way it's made, like, kind of reminds me of a coffin. It's even more beautiful in person. If you guys see this video, Shane or Jeffrey, oh my God, you did that. This is literally the nicest packaging of any palette I own. Oh my God, that Trisha shade. I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna do like a Christmassy look today. I've heard really good things about Ranch. I think I'm gonna do that as a highlight and maybe use pigment as a blush. I only have bronzer on right now. I didn't even contour or anything. So I wanted to try and use this palette for as many things on my face as possible. Look at that conspiracy shade. I don't have anything like a lot of these colors. Like I said, I don't have a lot of palettes. So this is something really special to me it cost me so much money because i'm in canada 
and it's right before Christmas, but thankfully my 15 year old daughter loves makeup as well and she was really excited about it too. She loves Shane Dawson and Jeffrey. So it's like a two for one. We both will be definitely getting a lot of use out of this. I wonder if I could use diet root beer as a bronzer or as a um, contour. Let's try with the contour brush. I'm really curious to see if I could use, although I wouldn't want to waste such a small pan for contour, but I just want to see what you can do with it. Okay, so there is a lot of fallout. Maybe I pushed a little too hard. Let's see, it's a little heavy to hold. Let's try it out. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that much pigment. Oh no, it's gonna ruin my face. Mm, it's really warm toned. Maybe that was a bad idea. You <laughs> got a harsh contour today, girl. Probably would be better to be used maybe as a bronzer if I had a bit of a deeper skin tone. Ew, what did I do? Try to blend it out a little. Get a little bit. I know for next time that is some pigment. Like, oh my god. I wanted to try using one for a blush as well. Now I'm nervous. We're gonna go in with pigment and then just a very teensy tiny bit. I'm almost wondering about using Trisha for a blush. Oh yeah, that's pretty. See, that's not too crazy. That brown shade, I was expecting it to be like a really light neutral. And then I'm really dying to dip into this ranch shade. I hear that is beautiful for a highlight. I'm also curious about Just A Theory because I usually go for more gold shades. There's Just A Theory. Might be a little dark for my skin tone. I'm gonna take a highlighting brush. Maybe we'll go in with ranch first. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I haven't got to try, like I said in the beginning, I haven't got to try any of Jeffree Star's makeup. I am so dying to try his highlights. It's just so expensive for me to order things and then not be able to try them first and you're spending so much money and waiting so long. I assume it probably wouldn't take as long to come as it did because of the launch was so crazy. Oh my god, I wish I had this in a big formula of highlight. I hear his highlights and his liquid lips are bomb.com. I'm gonna have to just slowly start getting stuff. I really want to try more products beautiful absolutely beautiful I'm in love already I'm gonna dip into that Trish shade that's dark yeah that'd be too much on my face Ooh, but it has such a nice sheen you know that could look nice on a deeper skin tone sheared out real nice that would be pretty okay let's just get into a look because I am dying to what colors do we want to use we got conspiracy here I really want to try Illuminati. That just screams Christmas to me. So there's the two green shades, Conspiracy and Illuminati. That Conspiracy shade is just gorgeous as well. Flaming Hot, that's a perfect holiday color as well. Let's just put that right there. I'm not doing any pretty swatches right now. I'm just seeing what colors I'm gonna use for my eyeballs. What is this spiraling shade like? The spiraling is dark. Let's go in with Sleep Paralysis and Diet Cola. Ooh, I have nothing like these colors. This is Diet Cola, look at that sheen. Oh my God, I really wanna use that. And this is Sleep Paralysis. I have nothing like these. Most of the palettes I have are very neutrals burgundies, browns, gold, stuff like that. I don't know what I want to do with myself. Just don't know what to do with myself. Let's try Not A Fact. Ooh, that, that's beautiful too. There's Not A Fact. Let's swatch Tanacon. Oh, that feels like butter. They're so darn pigmented. 
there's Tanacon right there. That is a perfect in your crease color. This Tanacon shade, that probably would have worked better as a bronzer for me as opposed to Diet Root Beer. Okay, let's just get into this. I also have these from a friend of mine on Facebook, Makeup by Shay. Check her out. She has some beautiful little stacks like this, different colors for different seasons. She also has neon palettes, uh, neon pigments, so many cool things. She's a mom, she's an indie brand. That's her name right there. Definitely check her out. I was sent this, actually I won this. So I might use some of this glitter in my look today. Is it Stunning, this Christmas glitter. Okay, let's just stop overthinking it and let's just do it. There's so many color combinations I wanna try. Oh my God, look at that highlight. And that's not even supposed to be a highlight. Jeffree Star, if you're watching this, I need you to send me some of your stuff, please. I just put my highlight brush in that why did I do that I'm just not thinking straight I am losing my mind trying this beautiful palette the only complaint I have so far is that the shades when you touch them they kind of get all over the place which doesn't mean they won't perform amazing but it just means that I will run out of the shades quicker which you know that would suck I have been watching Jeffrey and Shane for years to be on Jeffrey's PR list would be like a dream come true. I have been into makeup and creating for as long as I can remember. I also do painting on canvases. I do SFX makeup as well. And you know, it would just be wonderful to be given a chance with one of these bigger brands. It's so hard being a single mom and being able to afford to buy new makeup all the time and different stuff to create all these awesome looks that I want to create. But I do the best I can and I'm slowly building up my kit. I know there's so many other super talented artists out there that also, you know, deserve to be recognized. Shade is beautiful, Tanacon. I could go with just something like this for an everyday look and just a theory on the lid and be done and be happy with that. Maybe a little bit of diet root beer more directly in the crease. And I'd be happy with that. I am more of a neutral girl, but I do love for like Instagram, my SFX looks and stuff, I do love doing more colorful looks. I'm getting more into it. I do end up going back to my warm tones more often than not. So next, we're gonna go in with Flaming Hot right directly in the crease. So this shade's a little bit pinky red, more than I was expecting. Not a bad thing. It's blending beautifully. It does need to be built up a little bit. Sometimes I swear my eye just doesn't want to pick up pigment. I'm going back in with Tanacon. Just going around the edges a little bit. Buff, buff, buff. I'm gonna go back in with Flaming Hot. Build that back up. All right, being honest, the Flaming Hot shade is not my favorite. I just don't love how it applies. Maybe I'm gonna try a different brush. Okay, we're gonna go in with a fluffier brush. So I guess I just expected it to be really, you know, dark and intense like it is in the pan it looks different than it looks in the pan. Nobody come for me. I'm not dissing Jeffree Star or his formula or anything. Obviously in every palette some shades will be a bit better than others. Let's see how extreme my rides here is. Oh she's black. She's black and she pigmented. Oh wow. Right here. That's darn good swatch. Look at my adorable Christmas cup. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Do I want to cut the crease or do I want to put another color? I'm nervous. I don't really mess with black too much, but I kind of want to put it right in the crease. You know, let's just go for it, right? You only live once. Okay, we're going to use a brush like this. Pray for me because I don't really use black. There we go. Are these more like pressed pigments? Because I'm finding you get the best payoff if you just 
Don't tap off your brush. I mean, obviously you have more pigment on your brush, but look at how pigmented that is. Like, wow. I don't want to try that with the red, but I don't want there to be like a harsh line. I'll go in with a brush like this, go back in with Flaming Hot, and let's just see if it can be built up without tapping off. No, it's still not really doing it. There's definitely pigment there, but it's just not like full pigmentation. It's not patchy or anything, it's just very light, more than what I was expecting. I'm gonna go back in with Tanacon. Let's go over that a little bit. Don't mess with it. Marad's here. You know what? I have no fallout on my face and I'm not tapping off my brush. That's impressive and this is black. I'm gonna go back in with my rides here with a more small like a smaller brush and perfect that line it's just not looking the best smoked out there we go i like that a lot better a little trick if you don't know this one take some micellar water or makeup remover and a q-tip if you're using a dark color before you cut your crease because a lot of times it just smears the color otherwise then you have like a smoky gray color underneath your concealer now that i've cleaned it up with the q-tip and the makeup remover now it's not smearing black all over my eye Make this black line thin. I'm back in with my rides here just to touch up the line. So I think what I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to do lines straight down with um, Diet Cola, Illuminati, and Conspiracy, yes. I'm definitely getting some fallout with Illuminati. You can see there. It's the only shade that has given me fallout so far. I am packing it on though and not tapping off my brush. I'm just bopping to Christmas music and it is copyrighted. So if you see my mouth moving, that's why I'm dancing. Getting into the holiday spirit. This conspiracy shade and Illuminati are so gorgeous and I'm not really a green person but oh my god these shades just stunning Here comes Santa Claus here comes Santa Claus right down Santa Claus Lane so this is what we have so far it's turning out funky I think I'm going to use ranch for the inner corner okay so for the lower lash line we're going to start with Illuminati on the inner and outer portion of the lower lash line 
and then we'll do diet cola right in the middle underneath the iris of the eye I'm gonna take a very small detail brush going with my rides here put that right along the waterline really want to incorporate some of these I don't know if I want to do it get some NYX glitter glue how pretty is this love the mixture okay so I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and then I'll be back and decide if I'm gonna do anything else with it Get a little the next glitter glue and let's just kind of tap it up here. Oops, I'm just way too much. I probably want to do it. I want a little bit, a little bit. Okay, so I also got these from the dollar store. They're super cute. I think I might add some of these to the look. Normally I would draw it on, but I'm just gonna use these because they are so cute. And sometimes it's really hard to do super small details, like how small these are. Okay, so we're gonna do an inner corner highlight and my lippy and we're gonna be done. Yeah, let's go in with Diet Cola for the inner corner. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. I'm gonna use a little bit of ranch as well. I'm obsessed with Diet Cola. So far that has to be my favorite color that I've used. It's just so different. It's so sparkly and silver and pretty. It's not, I have nothing like that. Reds can be so messy. Smells good. These are deep and dark. And I'm being brave without going in with a lip liner. Okay, so this is going to be my final look using the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star Conspiracy Palette. I can't give you a final thought on the palette because I've only used like a few colors. I really loved the shimmer shades, Conspiracy, Diet Cola, Illuminati. Those went on amazing. Like I said, when I was doing the look, Flaming Hot was not as pigmented as I hoped. I had to keep building it up. As you can see on my eyes, it's like it's almost not there. It's very, very light, but maybe that's how it was meant to be. I loved Tanicon and I haven't really got a chance to try any of the other matte shades so I can't say for sure I'm definitely going to do some other videos with this palette let me know if you'd like to see that if there's any looks that you might want to see me try with this you did that Jeffrey and Shane the colors are so different than any other palette I've seen I love the packaging it's really beautiful I'm really happy that I got this so yeah that's going to be it if you enjoyed watching this tutorial, please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. And until the next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye.